The glenoid labrum is a fibrocartilaginous rim attached around the margin of the glenoid cavity in the shoulder blade. The shoulder joint is considered a ball and socket joint. However, in bony terms the socket is quite shallow and small, covering at most only a third of a ball. The socket is deepened by the glenoidal labrum. The labrum is triangular in section, the base is fixed to the circumference of the cavity, while the free edge is thin and sharp. It is continuous above with the tendon of the long head of the biceps precur, which gives off two fasciculi to blend with the fibrous tissue of the labrum. Structure Clinical Significance Equals injury equals, tearing of the labrum can occur from either acute trauma or repetitive shoulder motion such as in the sports of swimming and baseball. Acute trauma may be from dislocation of the shoulder, direct blows to the shoulder, and other accidents of the sort. Tears are classified as either superior or inferior in regards to where the tear is in the glenoid cavity. A slap lesion is a tear where the glenoid labrum meets the tendon of the long head of the biceps muscle. Symptoms include increased pain with overhead activity, popping or grinding, loss of strength, and trouble localizing a specific point of pain. Because a slap lesion involves the biceps, pain and weakness may also be felt when performing elbow flexion with resistance. See also Bankart lesion, Hill Sachs lesion. References This article incorporates text in the public domain from the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy. External links, upper percent 20 extremity arthrogram axial 2 at the Dartmouth Medical School's Department of Anatomy, http, autoinfo.ars.org slash topic.cfm question mark topic equal a0026, http, www.orthospicm.com slash slap lesion.html